So what, one, one way of going about this, if you were coming to it cold um, as a film, would be to actually go through all the, um, the interviews, I don't know, the rushes, really, the rushes particularly the interviews, because it's going to be a factual-led show, uh, and pick out um, you know, the best bits that are going to help you with the story. Um, and if I was making this film, which is about someone who ran a studio in England, apparently was a bit notoriously bullying man, I would, I would try and find some little sync bits um, from each of the interviewees to sort of tease up in a, in a, in a beginning sequence. Um, so this is Lewis, Lewis Gilbert, who was an amazing film director. Um, as I say, died fairly recently, but he worked in the film industry way, from way, way back. It's very dim, isn't it? It's very dim. It's a bit... It's very, is that? It's very dim. It's, it's either been, it's either it's been very... shot by the Prince of Darkness or it is oh, yeah. dim. Or well, it is dim. I'm not sure what video control we have on this machine. Obviously, these machines, you can adjust the video levels on them. Um, not sure what MOBA are in here. I think one of the things that, um, in this sort of era of tape, I mean, I came from, I was trained in the film cutting room, um, which was one of the sort of first, I suppose it was the original non-linear editing system. Basically, you could cut film up, put it on a bin, you could organise it, and you could randomly select stuff. Whereas with tape, you were always um, always at the mercy of the tape itself. You couldn't cut it up. Basically, um, it was purely it was a purely linear form. Um, so on film, we would have physically taken the pieces of the interview out that we wanted and hung them on a bin and I would have logged them. Um, so in a way, that was, my, that, was my, that was kind of my process when I went to tape, so, I'd, so I found out where things were. Um, so the idea is that Michael will tell me what he wants in his film and I hopefully will make the machines arrive at the right place at the right time, so we've got the first and you will, bit of... you will argue with me occasionally. Certainly not, would I ever. Um, <laughs> No, I could put. I can put a view. The editor always puts a view forward because sometimes he's right and sometimes more than yes. more than often he's wrong. But so if we say that was the, the first thing, thing to do, is always admit when the editor's been right. That's well, the... a very interesting character, John Davis, because as you probably know, he had two sides to him. Really, do you want the good side first or the bad side? Maybe I should give you the good side. First. We'll go for the bad side. The good side of John. So we we we'll shuttle should, along, see should, if we get to the back. Yeah. Should yeah. we leave a little gap at the front? In yeah. case we find an establishing shot. To put, yes, we yes, could, I we think. Or we'd leave five seconds at the front. Yeah. Just to put that in later if we find yeah. one, if we get a tape that plays. He was a tremendous man of his word. So I would go through, when we're looking for a piece to mark, I, I carry on marking. Marking, it doesn't do any harm. I can just mark a sentence. The signature was just a word from him which said, OK, that's a deal. And that was a remarkable uh, thing. So I would mark. In those days. He was also... So I would mark, he was also, if I've just marked that. Topic, it doesn't matter, it's not going to, it's not permanent. I can overwrite it. Because the, the bank organisation was very well run from that, that 